Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. Just wanted to cover this one quickly. We've covered it before, lubricating the drive line. So this is on a Prado. The Hilux is a little bit different. It's all a very straightforward job. Everybody's, well, you probably haven't, but you know, lubricated, put grease in a grease nipple before, whether it's a trailer, like they have bearing buddies or under a full drive sort of thing. So it's not an expensive or big job, whether you call it a drive line service or lubricating the drive line or whatever you want to call it. On the Prado, there's only six grease nipples. And once the vehicle's jacked up or up on a hoist, doing a service it only takes about five minutes so you shouldn't be paying a lot of money for it you can buy a grease gun and do it yourself if you like i'm just going to show you where the grease nipples are on the rear tail shaft that uni joint there um, we've got that slip joint which that's the um, grease nipple for that you've got the other one there obviously you need to turn it around to the direction we, we wipe them before we put the uh, grease gun on them so we don't push dirt into them we grease them and then we wipe them afterwards you can see we haven't wiped it afterwards yet showing you that so you can see they've been lubed that's what they look like after they've been lubed okay two on the front tail shaft at the rear end there's two one for the slip joint one for the uni joint and same at the front and this one's really important because this is the one we don't it's not a regular thing at all it's just the couple that we've heard of it's been the front of the front tail shaft so if you're out playing in mud and water and whatever it's especially important if you're an on-roader only it's less important um, what you want is a quiet environment so that you can see and hear as soon as any grease starts coming out see there you can stop you'll hear the air expel out and the grease will start you just need very slowly just a little bit don't need to overdo it it's just going to spray out everywhere and make a big mess this one's not too bad this vehicle so there's a little bit up there you get that there's a little bit here so that's good so lots of little grease not lots Lots of little bits. So regularly when I say lots, check it lots. If you do water crossings and a lot of mud and four wheel driving, if you use it on road, you can afford to just even, not maybe not even every 10,000, you know, maybe every 20. Anyway, guys, trying to keep this one short. We've covered it in more detail in longer videos, probably in the VIP group, um, but I just wanted to cover it for you. We're gonna, on YouTube, we'll cover it all slowly. All right, guys, hope that helps. Have a nice day, see ya.